Well, let's start there with the Shadow Finance Minister, Jane Hume, live in Canberra. Jane, good to see you this morning. Uh, I know what you're going to say here, but what are you expecting the RBA to come up with today and tomorrow? Well, we won't preempt the RBA's decision. You know that the RBA is an independent body, but I do know that there's an awful lot of mortgage holders out there who will be holding their breath because, quite frankly, it's, and the average mortgage is already around $24,000 a year more expensive under this government uh, than it was when Labor were elected. And that's not the sort of money that you find down the back of the couch. There's a lot of people feeling yeah. a lot of pain out there because of a rising cost of living. So there will be a lot of people waiting to see what the RBA does. No do. doubt. Yeah. Uh, Andrew Giles, meanwhile, he's to mount a new defence in the High Court against asylum seekers who refuse to cooperate with authorities. Jane, what's your reac reaction to this latest approach? Quite frankly, this is too little too late from Andrew Giles, who potentially, I think, is the most incompetent minister that we have seen in this already chaotic Labor government. They have lost control of the borders. They have already said themselves that the immigration detention system is unravelling before their eyes. And it's because of decisions that Labor is making. It is not the fault of the courts at all. We know that Andrew Giles uh, specifically made representations to the High Court saying that there was little prospect of resettling uh, NZYQ. And that is one of the reasons that the High Court, they even said that that was one of the reasons that they took into account when making their decision about that detainee's uh, prospects of, of, uh, of resettlement and, the, and therefore his release. And that's why uh, the Labor government then released not one, but 149 criminal detainees into mm. the community. That's after Andrew Giles missed three crucial appointments with his own department who would brief him on this issue. The Labor government then said that they needed preventative detention orders. The coalition have helped them passed those preventative detention orders, but now they've said the bar is too high. Yeah. Quite so, frankly, if the legislative bar is too high, the coalition will come to the party and help them lower that bar. But we haven't seen any amendments pre presented. It's ridiculous okay, that the so, Labor government are simply shrugging their shoulders rather than doing something. Don't so, point to the fire, put it out. So, so how would you lower that bar? What would you do? Well, that's up to the government to present amendments that would provide uh, a legislative ability... But have you got an idea? Have you got an amendment that you'd like to us. see? It is entirely up to the government to move those amendments. They are the ones that are dealing with the High Court's decision and the, and the inability to, to, uh, to uh, you know, create preventative detention orders mm. that would be legally binding. So let's see what their advice is. We don't have the departments that can create that advice, okay. but why aren't they doing so, something? They've hired a whole bunch of lawyers, but they don't seem to be doing anything with So here's lawyers. a point. As you mentioned there, and you're right, the Coalition did help toughen those laws, but why are they still so vulnerable to constitutional challenges? Well, that is a very good question. So that's why we need the Labor government to present amendments to those orders so that we can... And the Coalition are stand by, ready to support them to do that. The Coalition has always been strong on border protection and is committed, unlike the Labor government, to keeping the community safe. If the government can present us with an alternative, with an option, with an amendment that will help keep criminal detainees behind bars rather mm. than roaming about in the community, well, of course, the Coalition stands by ready to help.